Star Tech Reviews back here for another app roundup. Today we have five web browsers uh, that hopefully you can find one of these will fit your needs. Um, I expect that Chrome will do the best because it is integrated into Jelly Bean, but we will see. So uh, starting off, we have Firefox. So let's jump into it. Now with Firefox, it is not the smoothest browser. Uh, I saw several hiccups, and as I scroll, just scrolling, it's not the smoothest, and uh, that is a major problem. I doubt I could handle this from day to day uh, as my regular web browser. I'm on TigerDirect.com, where I find a lot of my electronics, and just scrolling down, it is not pretty. It just does not fit my needs, and if I go to, um, for instance, uh, Google Play Store right there it just it loads quickly and the interface is smooth but the scrolling uh, I just could not live with that and see that is not a problem with the tablet either it is plainly put the web browser and uh, something strange yes you can uh, like zoom in um, but when you zoom out, it goes even further, and there's no really, you can't change tabs by zooming out or anything. It just zooms out farther than it needs to, and uh, that also can cause, cause some lag too. Um, really just very laggy, not something I would want to deal with. Now, when you're typing in things, um, just you can have your bookmarks as you're typing something in, or uh, history, or just top sites that you use, um, then that's fine. It has a smooth interface. Uh, the Firefox start page shows your top sites and your tabs from last time. It's just, it's pretty good. Um, what I say, it is uh, on par with Chrome or any of the other higher-end browsers. No, it's just not there yet. It just seems like a very clunky browser. So this one I would have to give three out of uh, five stars, if, if even that, um, for smoothness and uh, just about anything else. But no complaints on how quickly it loads or anything like that. Next one is Skyfire. Skyfire has its own little start page and I don't see any problem with it. Uh, but would you really want to use this for your start page? Um, not so sure I would want to. Um, one thing I did see a problem with was where, how do you get your, what, Where's the bar? Where can I type in a web address? Major problem. So after looking for the, a way to uh, find the start bar, all I just you just hit the settings bar down there. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, another problem is um, just the the URL bar and the Google search bar are not all there it's not all in one bar it's there it just does not look pretty it does however show your uh, um, your bookmarks your home page and all that other stuff uh, load pages as desktop or uh, just options uh, it just does not look pretty though it looks very clunky that you know, let's go ahead and go to Facebook and see how uh, quickly it loads. So, and it does show the bar on how fast it, it uh, or, or how far it is for loading, which is nice. I, I do appreciate that more than just a little spinning thingy. But yes, it loads quickly. It scrolls smoothly. I do like that. So, uh, if I go to Tiger direct.com boom and the scrolling is smooth I like that they did a great job with that um, uh, pinching to zoom not 
quite the smoothest, but uh, I will say it is pretty good. It, it's, it can get the job done for your day-to-day -day tasks. So I would rate this a 4 out of 5 once you know how to use it. Um, but if you don't know how to use it, mm, it's gonna be a little rough. Okay, next one is Boat Browser. This browser, you can actually uh, get Flash uh, to work on it for the tablet, not on Chrome or any other web browser, just the Boat Browser. So if you guys want me to do a video, comment down below and I will show you how to get Java or Flash on here. It just really is great and you can view videos in 1080p on YouTube which is nice so launching a boat browser pretty slick not a bunch of things that doesn't feel clunky I like that so if we go to Facebook it shows a loading bar it shows the tabs at the top and when you scroll to the top it does show a little bar at the top here now uh, let's go to tiger direct this is my go-to site so tigerdirect.com it also has a place where you can hit the voice button and um, with the voice button you can say the URL or search something it's all integrated so now with the scrolling ooh, that is smooth I do like that that is much better um, than the other uh, with uh, Skyfire I think this is better pinching to zoom very smooth oh yeah very smooth and um, just overall, I could use this on a day-to-day -day basis, which is um, what you're looking for, what would be best for you. This one could be my best, but uh, let's keep looking at the other browsers. In terms of uh, multi-tabs, you just scroll to the top to see where you are, and then up here you can see your tabs and actually open up a new one. Very smooth, very nice, fluid not clunky of a, not just a clunky browser i like that so this one's going to get a 4.5 out of 5. so if you guys want me to do a video on uh, flash and whatnot let me know and uh, just comment down below next up is opera mobile opera mobile is a um i'm not quite sure how i like this web browser Starting off, we have the Amazon uh, page right up here. Look at this bar, though. That is tiny. You have to squint and, and move in to see what it says. The Google search bar and the uh, URL bar is not combined, and a few other things. What I do like is the pull-down with uh, the whole, um, with the O, you just click on the O. Um, and it looks like, oh, I actually have more tabs open um, that's kind of nice, and you can press on each one, and, uh, there's, I don't know what this does, that's, th that's very confusing, um, as to what that does, whenever you press the little tabs button, sliding over, what, I'm, I'm confused, that just confuses me, so, um, and hitting the X's on these, so small it's hard to see so i'm not quite sure about that um but you know it loads pages extremely quickly if i go to tigerdirect.com and um it shows a little bar at the top here and this one actually is taking a little longer probably because of all the pictures and then whoa that is really zoomed out. That is very weird. That is not good. Um, but if I want to zoom in and yeah, the the pinching to zoom is very good. Um, that is that's that's nice. And then the scrolling is very very good as well. Um, a little bit of lag, dropped frames here and there, but you know, it's it's as good as. As this browser is gonna get the the best thing is it shows the loading it shows um, pretty good speeds when it comes to uh, um, loading pages and scrolling and pinch to zoom so um, I'm gonna say 
3.5 for this one, just not up there, not up to par as much as the other browsers. Which brings me to Chrome. Now, Chrome is a great web browser. It's very fast. Uh, the only complaint I have, or one of the few complaints I have, is that it doesn't show the loading for when for how far loaded the pages are but really it doesn't need to it loads so quickly and uh then just it's ready to go it's done that's because it's integrated with the tablet with jelly bean 4.2 and it's just done you're there you use it it's simple it just works a little cliche there but it's the truth. Now, one problem that I have seen with this is when I go to TigerDirect.com, it's just, it comes up with the mobile site. So I have to hit the settings button over here and request desktop site every time. Ah, uh, not quite what I'd like, but hey, that's just one of the things that I'm willing to live with for the speed, for the smoothness in uh, pinching to zoom and scrolling. It gets the job done, and I'm willing to sacrifice that, that little button at the top. But, you know, for some people that just might get annoying. Uh, very simple, just right when you open up a new tab, you ha you're greeted with your most visited screen your recently closed is down here a little weird how it hardly shows that also bookmarks and other devices you know access the tabs you open on your computer right here um and you just sign into chrome that's nice that is nice so um this really it integrates a lot uh and it's just nice it just works so I would give this probably a 4.5 out of 5. Um, that just, it just does it for me. So anyway, that's going to be it for uh, this video, for this app roundup of the web browsers. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see more, show me that you love me and make sure you like, comment, and um Really, uh, just share it with friends and subscribe to my channel, uh, showing me that you want more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Next time, I will see you. Hopefully, I will have five more apps that you will want to see. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.